Okay, hi, welcome to the next installment of Bubble Blowers. On this one, we're gonna go to one of my favorites. I guess because um I was like, okay, I should definitely go over the twins next. You know, my favorite twins anyway. Um that was the, the, the whole goal. But I was like, I don't know which one to do first, and I decided we're gonna go with my favorite chance, the least problematic one. We're gonna go on to Chase. Chase is probably gonna take a little bit longer, and that's gonna like tie you off into another one. Because out of all the Morrison twins, I'd say that Chance is my favorite, followed by um, Sharon. I like Sharon. But anyways, so these two, like I said, they were part of that first group that moved into the big house that the Morrisons are in now. Um, His room, of course, you know, the, the two rooms that are adjoined to the bathroom, those were him and his brother, um, brother's rooms. His is the Maya's room was always Maya's room. Um, what is that? I can't never remember that kid's name, y'all. Yes, 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 Chicago. Yes. Uh, what is that boy's name? Hold on. Yeah, Jerry. Why I can't remember Jerry? Look, he's better friends with. Oh, look, it's his nephew. One of two nephews he got. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think he had two nephews. <clears throat> yeah, he has no kids. No kids. Uh, his twin brother has, a uh, yep, two kids, two boys, Nathaniel and Robin, which Robin we will never get to see grow up because Robin, unfortunately, was a member of that baby farm that we're going to get into because this story will <sighs> tie into the baby farm. In sad, sad ways, unfortunately. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah, Chance. First of all, Chance, what are you supposed to be doing for work? I need you to go work on your programming, buddy. So, these houses are houses that they, the Morrisons actually had built for the twins. Like, they built them for them. <clears throat> Specifically. Um... You know, he has his own, he owns his own business, like a little startup company or whatever. Um, you know, I feel like a good thing for him to do would be to go next door and beat up his brother for his, you know, neighborhood brawl day fun. But we're not going to do that because he's a bigger person than that. So we're going to let him continue to be the bigger person and we're not going to have him go over there and whoop the boy's ass. Although, technically, if he did, I feel like it would be warranted. Now, Chance and Chase, because they were some of the original kids over in the, the big Morrison's house with no yard. Um, they were old enough to have seen, like, tiny bits of, you know, what happened between, you know, their sister Chaya and her ex-husband and all that fun stuff but you know not to really fully understand it because they are not that much older than than riley they all went to school together had some of the same friends you know i believe he was good friends with yeah he's good friends with miles morales he's also good friends with hinata um daniela he's close to her also because he's kind of so okay yeah their voices are really weird like his voice is like very very low his brothers is too until they do certain things it's not low at all but anyway no i'm not so you know they had these houses built for them and as you can see i put the walls up so you can see like you know backyard he's got like a little pool and a hot tub he's also got you know his little observatory because men's is all into space you know spot to build his uh rocket that the game refuses to let him build because it's acting like he i don't know i think it's got something to do with the event they don't let them build rockets anymore which is really weird um i blame sim city well yeah the city i blame city living that's what broke it uh as you see his brothers is set up kind of the same except he got like a basketball goal because his brother was always more about sports than um sports and fitness than uh you know 
learning and things of that nature. Oh, trouble. And anyway, he also has his little pool and his dick, he has his workout equipment so that he does not get wet. He wants to swim without getting wet. This is natural water anyway, so he doesn't care. Um, but yeah, you see they got their living room, this little space here with like their laundry, fun kitchen, there's like a nice size bathroom here, and this is like the dining area, right? Da -da. Yeah. So then you go upstairs, it's also lofty, yes I like lofts, there's like the balcony, he got like his work stuff, and then dancing, some of his workout equipment, he don't have as much because he don't need as much, karaoke machine, his bed, and a desk, you know, fun stuff. That is... The apartment that is his. Brussels apartment is set up pretty much the same way. Just decorated slightly different, different colors and everything. You see I use different colors on the outside as well as on the inside. Because they are two very different people. And I felt like they could have identical apartments. But I could also represent the fact that in those apartments they are still very different people. Very different people. So anyways, going to high school. You know, this man here. He was kind of obsessed with this one girl who at the time was dating somebody else. That girl, you guessed it, none other than Kaori. The Juliet to um, Kiyoshi's Romeo. Which, I think he was friends with Kiyoshi at one point. Yeah, pretty, yeah, I think. As you can see here, there are children that he's friends with. We'll get into that later. And those are not related to him, no. Um, so, you know, him and uh, him and Kaori, they were just really, really good friends. Because he was always so in love with her. Da, da, da. She wouldn't give him the time of day because she was with Kiyoshi. Then her and Kiyoshi broke up. And then she came to confide in him. Blah, blah, blah. Moment of weakness. Some shit happened. They see, you know, they end up dating. So, they dated. And, you know, they... Well... Not that kind of shit because he's a pretty innocent guy. He was one of those, nah, I gotta marry you first type guys. You know. You know. Yeah. So, they end up getting engaged. So they're engaged. They're like, oh, we're gonna get married, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, oh, well, I'm not happy, blah, blah, blah. Homie oh, kind of compromises some of his, uh... Some of his standards for her because she's telling me she's not happy, yada, yada, yada. Of course she's not happy, you know, she run around screwing some everybody. Still, you know, messing with Kiyoshi. She never really stopped messing with Kiyoshi. That just was a secret. So, you know, she's staying with her grandparents. So, you know, she'd come here, you know, to get away. And, oh, he loves me. You know, imagine, you know, get away with somebody that really, really, really adores you. It's got to be awesome, right? Right? Okay. So, you know, she come over take advantage of his hospitality and his kindness. Just, you know, oh, yeah, something, something. Best girlfriend ever. Not. So, it all came to a head when, you know, she got pregnant. Wasn't his. No, he, yeah, yeah, he actually didn't compromise his, his standards yet. Wasn't his. She got pregnant. He's like, oh, oh. So, then, you know, she had a baby. She had two babies because she ended up, instead of marrying him after he did her, no, after she did him dirty, she married Kiyoshi. Then, after she with Kiyoshi didn't work out, they got two kids, boom, boom. Liz and Orion. That old weirdo. So, um, you know... He, he, he met them, you know, him and Kiyoshi, there's no hard feelings between them because it was not anything that either of them did. So, then, like I said, her and Kiyoshi go south. Her and Kiyoshi get a divorce. She tries to come back running to him. He's like, oh, he's considering taking her back. But then she goes off and she gets pregnant by none other than his twin brother because she came to his house and he was not home and she was having a moment. So, she goes next door and instead knocks on the door and proceeds to work through that moment <clears throat> with his twin brother. Who she's very well aware of that that's his twin brother. And his twin brother is also very well aware that that is his brother's ex-fiance slash almost current girlfriend again. So, she gets pregnant again. Yay. And at this point, it was after the whole Lily Song thing. So, you know, brother's already got a kid. 
So now she's pregnant. She has another one. And that one, like I said, is one of the ones that was taken by them peoples because she wasn't doing what she was supposed to be doing. Yeah, this one. Robin. Robin's gone. There, there's no Robin. Um, so... You know, he never really cared about the kid. And obviously, you know, brother's not really the best brother. We're not going to, I mean, father. But we're not going to get in that. We're not going to get into that. We're just going to come back here to his story. So, you know, things are weird between him and his brother for a while. Because, you know, bro, his brother don't give a fuck about him. How can he be like, oh, I care about you. Like, I care about you so much. I banged the girl that you were trying to get back with. Not Faith Corrigan. Girl, what are you doing over here? Anyway, so... Yeah, long story short, that is, that right there is like the whole of Chance's story. Except now he's like a lonely heart because, you know, he still got feelings for this girl, but he can't stand this girl. So they're hot and cold. It's like, how the hell are y'all in love? But, you know, whatever. He's like trying to save his energy. He's like, I don't got time for these 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 girls. I'm just gonna put all my time into my business. <sighs> like, see, I ask for nobody else. And it makes me sad. It's like poor guy. Poor, poor guy. So, yeah, he just sits here and he works all day. Who is that? Is that I thought that was Mortimer. Why is her glow on again? Judith, how many just gotta cut your glow off? Speaking of her grandparents. <laughs> oh, also their story is kinda interesting too. I don't I have no idea what the hell happened there, but yeah, some stuff happened there and Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Because at first, you know, it was just her and the the two kids. And then, you know, she had the one kid that she got pregnant by chance. And, you know, she moved back to her grandparents' house with that. Because at one point, she had moved in with chance when she decided to cheat on chance. And with Chase. She decided to chase Chase. All the girls decide to chase Chase. Like, they don't give chance a chance because they don't realize it's the better option. But, you know... We're not going to give Chance a chance. We're just going to chase Chase. Like all the chicks. You know, all of them chasing Chase at once. At once. So, yeah. That is Chance's story. That's where he is now in his story. Aside from not looking at the computer while doing things on the computer. Okay, sir, you're done. You can stop. Uh, it's 8 p.m. You work in two days. You're good. Yeah, that's right. Go look at your observatory. Go observe things at your observatory. Sir, don't walk past and look at my house after what your grandfather did, or your granddaughter did to me. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. So, I think that on that note, rather than, you know, in here, I think we might, from here, go over to, we're going to go over to Ellen's house. I think Ellen finally graduated high school. I can't remember if Ellen graduated or not. But Ellen was, Ellen and Chance were partners in crime when they were in the house together. Like, the room that Sharon is in now used to be Ellen's room. Because Ellen, uh, Ellen has stuff going on, but not enough to give her, like, her own freaking video. Honestly, her house looks just like um, Zion's house. Except the colors are different. There's pink, blue, and red in there. Mostly because she is currently dating. I think she's still, I don't think they broke up. I have to check. I'm out of touch with some of this <laughs> Uh, she was dating Miles Morales. She, why is she here in the girl? Oh, yeah, she's a young adult now. What job do you have? 
You don't have one. Of course. Of course. Okay. Yep. That's her boo. Miles Morales is her boo. I don't think either of them have a job. We'll get more into him later because here in the city is where his apartment is. Oh, look. Public enemy number one. One of her baby daddies. She tried to get him. She couldn't. He just had no interest in her. He's like, girl, no. No. She's, of course, she's at the romance festival. Well, what about all her goddamn kids? Oh, bruh. Anyway. So. So, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, she was adopted as a child instead of as a toddler. Brought into the household once Kaylee left. She got Kaylee's room, which is now Sharon's room. Um, Fairly, she don't really make trouble. She just showed up with pink hair one day. That's about it. I heard she don't really flirt with people. Occasionally talks to people. She don't really go places other than home. You know, she's kind of close with some of the people. Like I said, partner in crime. Um, her and Maya didn't always see eye to eye. And she loves Sharon. Sharon, Ellen, and Chance, they're like three peas in a pod. You know. Yeah. That is about it. Honestly, that's her life. She's dating Miles Morales. He comes over on occasion. She needs to find her a job. And I think he does too. We'll get her a job before I leave. Yeah, and she lives on her own because, you know, again, they came into money. So, they procured houses for the children when they get a certain age. That's literally all there is to it. Her life is that simple. What should we make her? Make her a teacher. Sure, what's her assignment? Not whoever it is walking off. We're gonna go home. Go home. You need to go tutor somebody. Sing it, Bennett. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, there are some gold moments that come from putting Sims on this damn karaoke machine. Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Demon Slayer moment. Shinobu and Gyu. I got the video somewhere in here. I might I might post it. I probably will. I'll post it. Cause it just it just makes me giggle. It just it makes me giggle so much. It just makes me giggle so much. Dun, 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 dun. So you're gonna come up here and you're going to tutor. Sit online about technology, and then you're gonna go to sleep. No, I t don't. Fine, sit. Oh, career, education career. Two to sit online about technology, and then you can sleep after. Since I have to make you sit first, see. Hers is very blue, red, and pink. Pink is her favorite color. She added lots of touches of red and blue because at one point she was considering asking her boyfriend to move in with her. Also, like we spoke about earlier, this is the house that used to belong to Lizette um, that her third husband died in. And this is the urn of 
husband number three. As you can see, he just heaved his way immediately into a heap. And this is the urn of husband number two. Hardly a husband before he heaved hold. Yeah, before he heaved. And, yeah, that's it. In case you guys were curious about, you know, wondering about proof of Lizette's serial killer hood shipness, here's Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Like I said, Exhibit C, I think I got rid of, but everybody wanted to condemn him to hell anyway because, you know, Pete. Good old Pete. So, yeah. Now she's out here living her best pink and blue life. Except on the outside. Maybe I should make that blue. Huh. <gasps> what, if, what if I did make it blue? Okay. Once you finish tutoring, I think I'm going to go edit this and make it blue. Because that would just be too cute. No, there's another one that blue. So maybe I have to make it red. I don't want to make it red either. Because then she got a brother. Her brother got a red. No, we'll just leave it. We'll leave it. Whatever. We'll leave it. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, that's literally her life. That's, that's her life. Her life is pretty tame compared to the rest of her families. Too bad there's no toilet up here. Could very they don't ever turn nothing off. Could very easily just you know. There, she's good. Now she can tutor and then do whatever the hell she wants. Hopefully it's laundry. Although I know that that laundry is not just her. I'm sure she had help. Miles. <clears throat> are they engaged or are they just dating? They're promised. Okay. Yep, yeah, they're 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 promised. And he has a key. Oh, I'm actually shocked he has not stopped by. Hmm, go figure. Well. Well, so yeah, she's gonna make her do her stuff for her job that she just got. Yay, she got a job. Work her way up and then be like, yeah. Case? Oh, interesting. And see if she bite him now, he'll be like, oh, I'm asleep. But then, like, on his own, he'll come walking in or something, and it makes no sense. Yeah, fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. But yeah, she lives right next to the terrible uncle that she has to watch her boyfriend around because he's terrible. So also, this house is one of my favorites and the names that I give them on here are somewhat similar to the names that I give them when I save them into the gallery on the Sims game just in case you saw something that you know interests you or whatever you can go look it up and whatnot you know apparently I'm not connected <laughs> There we go. You know, you can go look it up. And I exist here, except it's taking its sweet, sweet time to load. Anyways, 
Stay date. Everybody's favorite serial killer. Woo! Bunch of random houses and fun stuff that I post just because. Also, this right here is Lily's other family that, you know, yeah. Gonna get into those. Saw the Morrisons. Have not met the Wiseman bunch. Also, I haven't met them. You've met them. You've somewhat met them, but not particularly. And, yeah, just, yeah. Wait, why are there only five? Oh, okay, never mind. There's five plus. Wait, no. One. There should be set. Oh, no, no, no. I saved it when she was pregnant. Okay, okay. I'm like, wait, she's missing two kids. No, she's not. I'm just inside. All right, yeah. But, yeah, so we're going to end this video right there. Right there. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I could throw Ellen in on the end of uh, Chances because Chances isn't that long and Ellen's is not that complicated. So yeah, um, until next time. Laters!